small discussion. And we can tell this spec off process is 30. Yeah, because after that, oh, after well, the well, we go to launch and we come back and we do this play. That's all right. After yeah. 30, we do a normal, uh, what we say? Well, what we could do it now. Ish. When we finish talking about this, we can start it, yeah. Um, Jacob, do you know about the different modes of the game? Uh, I've played this game for a short little bit. Um, I think it doesn't get that much. Because it says which game do you, which mode do you prefer? And obviously, it would be easier for me in a multiple choice question with the different types of modes. I could enter in those modes. I'll ask Franklin about that when he gets here. I'll make a note of that right now, actually. Or I'll forget. But there's no way to find that out right now? Oh, by the way, uh, I could email him. He's busy. I doubt I'm going to get a response. Yeah. But I mean, like, is there a way we could find it online? Uh, not that I'm aware of. There might be, but not that I'm aware of. I don't like for check that it goes. Oh, that's in my other bag. Gosh dang it. I'll make a, I don't mind your other bag. What's passives? Yeah, what's passives? Okay, passives? I'm going to assume by the different modes, I mean like Team Slayer, uh, Capture the Flag, uh, Stay in the Ring, uh, just Last Man Standing, stuff like that, because it's an arena game, right? Okay. Uh, I think there's going to be first move advantage in this game. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's going to be a first move advantage in this game. It spawns, as you guy, I think so you got a death drop <laughs> and you <laughs> spawn it and you randomly right the map and you start again. So it's like, at the end, how many kills did you get and how many deaths did you have? Okay, you know? okay. Well, that could be, that right. could count because everyone chose a very specific um, spaceship or whatever. Yeah, I'm like it depends also on your game, uh, skill level and the gameplay. Mm -hmm. But mostly it's like uh, you spawn. It's like imagine you have played Counter Strike, right, Max? Uh, I've heard yeah. of it. You have heard of it, right? So it's like uh, Counter Strike, uh, but in space, oh, with space. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. If it was half asteroid or whatever you call it. I don't know what. I think so it's a combo between the asteroid and the. You know the old Atari games, but I was. But I think it, I think I like that better because it was a bit more simplistic. Oh, we're and it, the this isn't horrible. Still. Well, you gotta understand. Like, yeah, now if they don't make good graphics, they can't compete, right? Passive. I'm assuming that means a. Uh, power oh, here we go. So sorry. We I'm assuming it's a power up. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's yeah. like a... I'm going to change it, because like, if I don't understand, I don't know. So, when you're talking about um, playtesting, pure opinion or emotional context, right? I don't like this kind of game, the sex, the shit, the design. Not great. Right? These are not... These are not helpful. So, you... Right? So you're, like, they are, but there's better language to use. <laughs> um, what we want to be doing here is helping the developers by answering the questions with professional context. Good person. Yeah. Right? So, like, of course they want to know if you like the game, but if you don't like the game, you don't have to tell them. Oh, come on, you got me stuck. Uh, why you don't like it? Uh, and the developers know.
Uh, you need any help? I do, actually. What do you need done? What is it you're doing? We're going to drop stuff off and configure the ship. All right, I'm guessing you only need the uh, channel then. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll start talking about... Uh, yes, yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. Kenley and I are going to go to the Rich and drop the stuff off at room 118. Okay. Uh, then, depending on what time it is, we're going to drive down to the Mars building, pick up that TV. So as you know, for most of you, I've told you, we got a uh, Quasar coming in. So that's this game we see going on up here. Just It's an arena-based game. It's sci-fi. You customize your spaceship. You shoot guns. You get power-ups. You kill each other. It's like that. I so, like that game, too. Yeah. Yeah. What? Or that Kinda game. Kind of like that. Yeah, no. Uh, but it's what game? That game. Okay, no. it's, it, it, it's where you play as a duck and you quack and you shoot guns. Oh, that's... Actually, pretty awesome sounding. Yeah. Uh, this thing is probably yeah, awesome. yeah. like Splatoon. I, I can show you a video on Splatoon. Yeah. I yeah. Can show, I can show you a video. Yeah. So later, later, later. Awesome. So this is a multiplayer game, guys. Devante, yeah. pay attention. So this is a multiplayer game, and what we're gonna do at after your lunch is we're gonna have all of you go to the Spec Ops class, and then I'm gonna bring you guys into this class two by two. And then you're going to play the game. And I'm going to record your responses. When you're done playing the game, I'm going to ask you, OK, so what did you think about it? What were your favorite parts? What were your least favorite parts? What did you think of this mechanic? What did you like, dislike, that kind of stuff? All right, so it's important to remember that this company coming in, this is a very important game. It's, it's going to be on Greenlit. It's going to PAX. It's high anticipation. A lot of money's gone towards it. It's it's pretty big end, and it, we are really lucky to have these guys say to us, "Do you guys want early access to it?" And luckily enough for us, uh, I happen to know one of the I happen to know the owner, and I asked him to come in, and he said, "Yeah, I'll come in and let you guys play the game." So he was nice enough to do that for us. So the least we can do is give him a bit of feedback. So when we do give him the feedback, just remember to be uh, give creative criticism. Okay. Instead of saying things like, it was terrible and it sucked, if you don't like it, just give reasons why you didn't like it. Like, let's <laughs> say, I, uh, you found it was really annoying to push the shoot button every time you had to shoot. And for whatever reason, that ruined the experience for you. Just say, I didn't like that I had to push the shoot button every time. That annoyed me. That frustrated me. I found it was frustrating as a player. Giving creative criticism will allow these people to better the game for when it comes out, which is very short. This game's pretty far in development. Oh, it's know. pretty polished. So in just like a, like a month, I think it's coming out. The only reason, it's pretty much done. The only reason they are keeping it is because they want to advertise it at PAX, show it off a little bit more, and get a little bit more feedback from you guys. What's PAX? PAX, if you guys don't know what PAX is, Thank you, Crystal. I didn't explain that. Right if you guys back. don't know what PAX is, PAX Prime is kind of like E3. And if you don't know what E3 is, 
It's a big like convention or exhibition of video games. So just to put this into perspective, for you to want to buy a booth, a small table like this, like like this, and show it at PAX, that would be like 15 grand at least. Yeah, no, this game's big, and a lot of people love it. And you guys are gonna love it too, I think. But if you don't, that's fine too. Just, you know, give them some creative criticism. And then they'll, they'll take that into consideration. And they will adjust this game to suit what you guys want it to be. So that you can enjoy it, and other people can enjoy it. So, they'll come in at 12, they'll set up here, and at 1 p.m., when you guys are done your lunch, or maybe you're probably gonna wanna come up a little bit earlier, but you'll be going to the Spec Ops classroom until a uh, lunch is over with, and they're done their setup, and then I'll bring you guys in in small groups, and a, uh, we'll have you guys kill each other. Customize your ships, get power-ups, and have fun. We're yes, playing online? And me and Kayla will help you guys set up in the afternoon uh, for computer space um, when the host comes. Uh, all right. Anybody got questions about like a uh, the game and stuff? Thomas, you look like you had one. Well, it's not really about the game, but all right. how long exactly do you think you will be playing the game for? Still 19? Per person? Um, well, if you get sick of it, then you don't have to play anymore. If you're worried about playing it and being like, I don't like this, you don't have to play anymore. You usually just say like, I don't like playing this at all. This is this is uh, not my, this is not for me. Uh, I find that this particular part of the game is what makes it not for me. I didn't mean each player. I meant throughout the day. Throughout the day? Um, I think our plan is to play Quasar the majority of the afternoon. I think the majority of the afternoon. Why do you ask, Thomas? But remember, you will only be doing this for a short bit. You'll have like you'll be able to work on your project in Spec Ops for most of the day. But you guys, that's why when other people are playing, you can do your work if you want. Okay? If you're worried about uh, like working on like your flash thing, but that means you're gonna want to save your stuff to the cloud before a uh, before the end oh, of lunch, be before lunch team. starts, so that you can uh, access it in the Spec Ops class. That being said, Mark, do you think we could have some computers in the Spec Ops class loaded yeah. into Windows mode? Yeah, there's um, there should be some computers, a lot of computers, just to get the greater production. Awesome. So let's get those like started to Windows mode before like the end of okay, lunch, so that like tools. when they get up there, they don't have to like set up too much. All right. You know what I mean? I'll go and set up. Mention right it now. to Kayla or yeah, yeah. I'll go and set that up right now. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank All you so right. much. Awesome. So yeah, that's Quasar so far, guys. Uh, and as you can tell, it's kind of an awesome game. And like I said before, a big production. You guys will be meeting the owner of this company and some of the other developers. So this gives you a great opportunity to ask them about the industry, ask them about their careers, ask them about getting a company like this started, or getting a job as maybe someone who uh, makes video games, or if you like video editing, or stuff like that, ask them about, well, when you guys get want to get a trailer done, do you ever outsource? Because what some game companies do is when they make a game and they want a yeah. trailer done, they don't do it themselves. They pay someone else to like edit the video and make a trailer for the game. I could not do that. You don't have to. That's just one of the options. There's a lot of things. Whatever you're interested, ask them. They're they're here to help. They're here to give feedback. You're here to help them get feedback about their game. You guys are going to work together and you're going to help each other. And it's going to be a great opportunity for you guys to network and get some professional experience in the work environment. All right, cool. So, any questions, Thomas? You good? It doesn't have to be about like anything in particular. It's, it's, I just, I just have found that it may be possible that I might want to do something else other than play the game. Well, if you come in here and you try the game, like, man, I don't want to do this, then you don't have to. We're not going to force you. And a, uh, for the majority of the day, you're going to be working on your project or whatever it is you want to work on in the spec ops class. 
try it because you might be surprised. I mean, I've seen a lot of people try this. A lot of people think it's awesome. Yeah. We don't really know about it until we try it. Yeah. Yeah, no. Keep an open mind, right? So, also, I should... Like eating your vegetables. Yeah. Well, no, vegetables suck, though. Um, Stack true. Okay, but uh, if you guys don't know what being greenlit meant, uh, I, should, I should clarify. If a game is greenlit on Steam, which is a store that is owned by Valve. Some Valve's of us were on Steam before, right? Huh? We were playing Steam when we were on Twitch. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know a lot of people here. Yeah, Valve is the company that made like Team Fortress 2 and all those great games, and they have a store, and it's Steam, and it's a huge store. It's uh, like, it sells like more games than like anything ever. And yes, if yes, something so gets I'll greenlit, sorry, yeah? And the, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure most of us know what Steam is. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, Just for those who don't know, though, if something gets greenlit, that means on Steam, people voted for the game. And there's thousands of, maybe even, I'm going to say thousands, maybe not millions, but thousands of games on there that anybody... All of them could, are still on since uh, the day before because of the Okay. Thousands of the uh, games on Steam, and to actually get greenlit, like to be the select few of all of these games, is like a pretty big accomplishment and super rare and super difficult. So this might be something good to look at. Actually, I'm looking at the at the Steam page about Bazaar, and it's talking about like the game features and stuff. Yeah. All right. Fair can I just email you the link? Is that right? Oh. Uh, yeah. Or Facebook me in. but air conditioners on full blast. Bam! Look, I'm so happy it's already got my phone. Is that 
my phone wasn't actually. So you want to watch something about that game? Uh, what, uh, sh uh, what's it called? Duck Game. Duck Game. Is the fan, uh, the Wait, I'm on the Scroll down on the quads arc and it will show you the features of the game. No, 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 that's, that's not that. Okay. That's how it's on the different modes. Yeah, actually, you were talking about the duck cards. Not duck hunt, duck game. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, my stubble biscuits are this. 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 Already. They got game. They, you see this? See this? Yeah. Ask it on the whole simple question. I'm pretty sure Max didn't realize I'm not really paying attention. I'm really scared. 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 I'